Hi folks, welcome back. We're working on the um, on this little Amish guy, and um, I just want to tell you um, that we need to cut out the arms next. So let's take a little heavier knife here. We're just going to follow this out around just like so. Okay, we're just going to trim that out. Alright, we're just going to cut around there a little bit like this because the, the arm is going to go around him. So, um, this you want to leave pretty, pretty thick. We're going to cut into that, but I just want to round off the back side here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut out his arms a little bit here. So, let's put a stop cut just like so okay and we can we're just trying to distinguish it from the body right now just like so okay just like that we're going to do the same thing to the other side remember folks when you have your glove on it won't protect you from stabs but it will protect you mostly from cuts so uh, be careful when you jab things or poke into things. If you slip and you hit your hand, even with the glove on, it can go through it. Uh, depending on what type of glove you have, um, I still think it can do stuff like that to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim some of this out back here because this is going to be trimmed out anyway. We're going to just cut this out. See how nice it cuts after you, you soak it with that stuff? I did it overnight for a little while simply because um, it was so hard. I put it in a plastic bag overnight. I wasn't going to do that, but I thought it was, it was such a hard piece. I thought <laughs> I was going to retry it, but I made sure there was enough alcohol with the water uh, to do that. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to trim this out a little bit here, just like so. I'm going to do both sides. We're going to kind of leave his feet right there where that's at right now. All right. And then we're just going to start digging out. We're going to just trim some of this out yet by his feet where his shoes are going to be on each corner. All right. So you really want to round this off and down to that corner. We'll, we'll straighten that up later. Okay, just like so. And the same thing back here. We're just going to trim some of this out. Just cut like butter, though, when you have it soaked in with that alcohol and water. It's a great way of doing it. You notice I, always, I moved my finger down. I You have to be aware of what, what you're cutting, folks, uh, to prevent cuts. You know, I wouldn't be doing this like this with this up here, thinking I had enough control just with the thumb. So you move your finger down out of the way. And I, that just came automatically. You know, you, you kind of learn as you do stuff and as you work on this stuff um, what will work and what won't. Okay. So I'm going to go back to this arm and I'm going to Take it out and around, just like so. Okay, we're going to dig that out further, and we're going to do the back side of it. I always, I prefer doing my cuts this way than towards myself. It's such a, a natural reaction for me to do it that way. I've done it so much of it that way already, and it's a great way to control the knife away from you. As long as you're not slicing a lot of wood at one time, um, you know, we're going to hollow this out a little bit here and start bring this around to the center. Now we'll put his, once we have that all done, <coughs> excuse me, once we have that all done, we'll go ahead and start, um, start putting in the, the clothing portion of it. This is a very basic, um, basic 
carving for a person. Um, nothing too fancy with it. It's just a matter of knowing when, what and where to cut, of course. Okay, we're going to move this up and around. And I'm just going to push this back a little further. We're going to go up a little bit here, closer to the top. Kind of fade it in there a little bit. When I come back, I'll have the other arm done, and then we're going to keep working on the body. All right, so that's roughly what we're looking to do. All right, so I need to cut more out here. And, oops, see how that pulled? You need to turn it around and go the other way. See? And you only learn that by really working with the wood folks. You don't learn that by just watching. You'll feel it when it starts tugging that you need to turn that around. Okay? So. And uh, I'm going to trim more out up here. So when I get back here, I will show you exactly what I did with this half of the body. And then we're going to put the middle in for the feet. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Bye-bye.